Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to my basic Fire Emblem Builder hacking tutorial, the series where I teach you guys how to make very basic Fire Emblem hacks. I've already done several videos on hacking already, you can check them out by clicking the playlist linked in the pinned video comment, or on the suggested video that should be appearing in the top right corner of your screen. I've done a basic introduction series, I've talked a little bit about classes and so forth, and today we're going to be taking a look at the map editor. And we're going to be creating a very basic map. Now this is a very complicated topic and there are a ton of things that I could go into, but for this video I want to make things very simple. I want you to watch this video and I want you to just go and get started on creating your own maps. We don't need to go into all the little nitty gritty details and all the little map editors and whatnot. I just want to teach you guys how to create basic maps so you can start playing around with it. This is a much more artistic side of hacking. This is not like coding where you have to get all the numbers right. Right. you're only really limited by your own imagination when it comes to map creation and it is one of my favorite things to do even though I wouldn't say I'm very good at it but I'm gonna teach you a bit of a cheat method as I like to say for how to get started and how to create your own maps this is something that I did for my basic Fire Emblem hack the swinging sword and I think it worked out pretty well so once we open up Fire Emblem Builder we're gonna go to the map editor now, once you open up the map editor, you're going to get this screen right here, but don't be confused. It looks a lot more complicated than it is. On the right hand side, you have the actual map and on the left hand side, you have your tile set. This contains every single piece that you want to use for the map creation itself. Now, if you open up this menu right here, we can cycle through all the maps that are available in Fire Emblem 8. And as you can see, sometimes the tile set will change because there are multiple tile sets that you have to work with in Fire Emblem 8. You can also import your own custom tile sets, but we won't be talking about that in in this video today. So if we scroll down, we can see that there are a handful of tile sets, although many of them are used several times. And it kind of depends on what map you want to create, but just pick one that you want to work with. Uh, I would avoid some of the more complicated maps like the temple or the tower. These are a lot harder to do, especially for beginners. So I would recommend that you start making something simple like a forest map or a town map. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be creating a town map. So I'm going to go over to chapter five, the Empire's Reach, which features this little cute village right here. So as you can see, it already has a bunch of terrain in it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be removing most of the terrain, but I'm going to be using the map as a sort of a template. I find that as a new map creator, it's very hard to create maps completely from scratch. What I like to do is I like to take existing maps and I like to remove some of the stuff on the map and then just add in my own. It won't create a 100% original map, but it is a place to get started and it's a lot easier than creating something completely from scratch. So here you can see we have the town. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom the map in a little bit. That makes it easier to see the, all the little details. But I'm not completely happy with the dimensions of the map, so I'm going to resize it a little bit. So we're going to be clicking on this button right here. And here you can see how big the map is. It is 15 tiles wide and 21 tiles high. Now that makes the map kind of long and narrow. So we're actually going to shorten it down a little bit. And then you need to click these little icons right here. So we're going to be subtracting the numbers to shorten the map a little bit. But then we're going to make it a little bit wider to the right. And then we're going to press change. So boom, we can see that now we have shortened the map's uh, height, but we have added three extra pixels on the right hand side right here. And these are just blank because there's nothing here. So I'm just going to get to work and it's kind of like painting, you know, I feel like Bob Ross over here. So I'm going to pick some of these little tiles right here and I'm just going to start to erase the armory and maybe also erase the villages a little bit and uh, we can keep the walls but we do have to add some grass tiles over here. So there we go. Villages are gone. We can also remove this little section right. You can press Control C if you mess up, just like with any other normal program. And we can also remove this little wall right here. Now, you may notice that this doesn't look great. So again, just like with painting, you want to play around a little bit, add a couple of different bricks, uh, just make the road look a little bit more organic. So again, it, it's not really possible for me to tell you exactly what to do here. Again, this is just going to be me just letting my creative side out and just creating a very basic town. I don't know if it's going to end up looking good or not. So, so far, we've taken away pretty much everything that there is to take away. We've only kept a couple of things in. So now we're going to start to add in our own stuff. So 
I say we start with just placing some closed off buildings like right here. So we have two uh, buildings right here. Of course, no map is complete without the ability to visit a house. So we're going to be adding a house right here. And of course, it's a harbor map. So maybe we want to add some water. Now, this looks a little too even, so we probably want to change it up a little bit. Make it look a little bit more natural. So we can probably go out like this. And let's add a little bit of a tavern close to the sea. Let's make this a bit of a pirate town. So when using the tile sets, you want to be a little bit creative. Like, for example, here I've used the bottom of a ship to simulate sort of the end of the pier right here. But you can see this, this still doesn't look very good. So we're going to have to find some kind of... Uh, eh, there we go. It could work, maybe. Right now, I'm kind of just experimenting a little bit. Perspective might be a little bit off. But just wanted to create a bit of a pier here just to see. And uh, we could maybe also do a bit of a fence, maybe. Maybe the start of a ship. Who knows? Actually, no, I kind of changed my mind. So, yeah, we got the start of a, a pier right here. We got a barrel. Uh, we could also maybe put down a rope here just to give a bit of aesthetics. And now let's try to color in the rest of our little town, shall we? Now, I'd like another patch of green here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to start filling in some patches of grass. And I still feel like the town looks a little bit naked, so let's fill in a couple more properties, shall we? And this, I think, would make for a very nice first chapter of Fire Emblem. So now I'm going to teach you how to save and export your maps. So if we press right to ROM right now, be aware that we will save over the Chapter 5 maps. This is something you might want to keep in mind. Now you can click on Export to File and you can save the map somewhere where you want it. I'm just going to call it Port Town Map. You can press Yes here. We're not going to go into tile changes in this video, that is much more complicated. For now, I just want you guys to learn how to create a very basic map. So what I'm going to do right now, if we want to import this as the prologue map, I'm going to go here to Chapter 0, The Fall of Renee, and I'm going to be importing the map that I just saved. Press yes. And here we go. We now have the first chapter of our Fire Emblem map in place. Now, obviously, this is going to mess with the events a little bit because we still have the basic prologue of Fire Emblem 8, but let's just see what happens anyway, shall we? So yeah, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is how our map looks. So you can see how easy it is to take something and just make your own map out of it. Obviously, it's not going to be a 100% original map, but it is a place to start, I think. Now, I wouldn't say this is a great map. In fact, I wouldn't even say it's a good map. It's a very basic one, but it is a place to start. And it, once you really get into the habit of making maps like this, you might find that it's actually a lot of fun. So that's really all I want you to take away from this video. I want you to just get started creating your basic Fire Emblem maps. And once you do, we can get into the more complicated and advanced... Okay, I just died. Um... <laughs> Well, you know, uh, never said I was good at Fire Emblem. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I want you to take away from this video. Very basic, uh, and we haven't even touched upon some of the more complicated aspects of map creation, such as tile changes and whatnot, but as I said, I'm saving those for a later video. I hope that this will teach you how to get started creating your very own maps, and yeah, just go and play around with it. Create a basic map, import it into the first chapter, and just play play around with it and see what happens. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode on basic map creation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and let me know what you would like to see me cover next time. My name is Inmengs. Thank you so much for watching the video. Give it a like and a comment, and goodbye.